Reports out of Japan today say the Nintendo Switch successor is arriving in 2024. What is going on? Why is this happening? Is it real? Can we trust it? Let's talk about it right after I remind you that this video is sponsored by eWin Racing. eWin Racing, this nice chair right here. They make amazing chairs for all shapes, all sizes, different price ranges, different weight classes. It doesn't matter. They have an office chair for you. They're super comfortable. Very, very amazing. You can go woo all the way back kick back, relax, or bring it all the way forward and have a great time. You guys know what to do. Go through the link down in the description. You can also use code Nintendo Prime for 20% off at checkout. <laughs> So the report from Nikkei states a few things. Nikkei is that popular newspaper and website over in Japan. And their new report that came out just today really taints a story. Normally when Nikkei gets sources on things, they either hear people that were at investors meetings that maybe heard things that weren't reported, or if they talk about Nintendo, they hear it directly from manufacturing. This time around, the news comes from manufacturing and Basically, why 2024, in fact, the middle of 2024 is what is being projected by these sources right now. That's projections could end up being early, you know, March of 2024, could be summer of 2024. Either way, the reason they're saying this is because Nintendo has started, well, negotiating for orders of mass production of a brand new system. So the system isn't in mass production right now, but they're in negotiations with various manufacturers to begin that process of mass producing the next system. That probably means mass production would start in the, yeah, I don't know, second half of this year, midsummer and our dev kits probably going out for this new system in the summer and mass production beginning sometime in the middle of summer to fall, obviously for a release in the following year where they'll have millions of units ready to go. This is very, very interesting and deals with another interesting prospect of what the hell happened to the Switch Pro or this other system that supposed dev units were out for if dev units aren't out for this system. And on the Nate the Hate podcast today, uh, Nate, MVG, Modern Vintage Gamer, and John Linneman from Digital Foundry essentially revealed that all their sources explain this story. There were dev units for a supposed, I don't know, Switch Pro as it were, and all the reports were correct. However, it just got canned. At some point during GDC 2022, developers uh, had told Modern Vintage Gamer, who's also a developer, that they do indeed have more powerful Switch hardware dev kits. But by the summertime of last year, that those dev kits have been recalled and were no longer in production. Again, this is very, very, very important to note when talking about all of this because it means that Nintendo canceled whatever that project was. Now, dev units for unreleased systems have gone out and been canceled before, so the cancellation itself isn't really shocking or a big deal, but that kind of explains where a lot of the information came from these dev units and these dev units are no longer the ones going to be made. Whatever those plans were, whether because it was a COVID or whatever, wasn't the case. Also, they said that the Switch OLED was never designed to be this new system. So all the speculation around that was maybe wrong. Now that's the explanation from them. Obviously, I don't have my own sources on this, so I have no clue. But what we do know is that Nikkei is going out there and saying 2024, mid 2024, Nintendo will be releasing a new system, the successor for Switch. Now, I'm on record on the last podcast episode we did saying I did not think a successor was coming this year. So if these reports turn out to be true, that's really cool. It also would explain why we don't have any real rumors around this thing right now because dev units haven't even been sent out. They will be sent out this summer for developers to get their games ready for a year from then. So... Look, it all makes sense. It also means we should start hearing a bit more information coming out about this platform in the second half of this year. So yeah, now is Tears of the Kingdom going to be the rumored final big game for Switch? That has yet to be seen. Nintendo's likely going to have at least a big game for the holidays. But what if that big game is just another Pokemon game and it's nothing from the internal teams? Because if a new system's coming out in the middle of 2024, would you really want to drop a Mario this holiday when you can have it at launch? 
Very curious. Also, we always know the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC runs through this year, so it sort of makes sense that maybe the Switch isn't going to be replaced this year. Will it have backwards compatibility? Will it be using the rumored T239 chip? Will it have DLSS 3.0, 4K support? What is going on? What's this hardware going to be? Don't know, but it sounds like Nintendo has finally settled on the finalized specs of what this thing is going to be and they're ready to put it into mass production obviously starting with dev units and then leading into the full-on retail package so again that stuff's going to be happening later this year we're going to hear a lot about this stuff probably from e3 onward not from nintendo but from developers so that's something to pay close attention to i also wonder if they'll wait until after e3 next year to release it which would be cool because that means i might have a chance to go hands-on with it early at e3 but Time will tell. Also, when's Nintendo going to announce it? At maybe at a February Direct? Maybe they'll announce it at the end of this year if they're going to launch it early and just say, you know what, we're not worried about the holiday sales because we want to get those pre-order numbers up for our new system. I don't know. I don't know what Nintendo's strategy is going to be. We're under a new management. New management that's probably playing it safe. We don't know what the new hardware is going to be. Is it another Switch? Is it something else? Is it a streaming stick? Is it a home console? We're going all handheld, dropping the TV support. Time will tell. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance, and we'll catch you in the next video.